Thank you for joining me in yet another exercise in which I'll be reading a paragraph to you, such as the one located right behind me. Embedded within it are the potential for errors related to grammar, punctuation, syntax, and so forth. Please keep that in mind as you listen to me read. Afterwards, I will step out of frame, ask you to pause the video to make corrections independently, and resume so that you and I can correct together. I'll go ahead and get started by reading the paragraph first. Here we have the ship set sail from England on August 8th, 1914. After 14 months at sea, the Endurance got stuck in ice. The crew tried to chip the ice away, but it didn't work. Soon the boat sprang leaks. Shackleton ordered everyone to abandon ship. In November, the Endurance broke up due to the pressure of the ice. It sank to the bottom of the sea. For the next four and a half months, Shackleton and his crew lived on the ice. They had to find land or they would die. What a fun trip. All right, go ahead and pause here to make those corrections and resume when you're ready. <clears throat> okay, I am moving. So let's go ahead and start at the beginning where, of course, you should have a capital letter for in the sentence. So the ship set sail. Sail is the incorrect version of the word. It's a homophone. It sounds exactly like the one I intend to use, but this is more like you're, you're selling goods or discounted goods. Instead, uh, we mean to say a sail as in a ship set sail. Uh, S-A-I-L, from England, proper noun, name of a location, on August, name of a month, 8th, comma, separate the day of that month from the year, after 14 months at sea, comma, the endurance got stuck in ice, period. The crew tried to chip the ice away, comma, but it didn't. Here we want the contraction, which is a combination of two words, in this case, for didn't, it would be the combination of did plus not. To create or use the contraction, we need to go ahead and embed an apostrophe where the letter is absent. In this case, the letter O is absent from not. So we're going to go ahead and insert it between the N and the T. It didn't work. Period. We've concluded that clause. Soon the boat sprang leaks. Period. Shackleton ordered everyone to abandon ship. Uh, oh, in November, name of a month, capitalize that, the endurance, and it looks as though the endurance needs to be underlined, as you would with a published work. So the endurance broke up due to the pressure of the ice, period. Start a new sentence with a capital. It sank to the bottom of the sea. New sentence starts with a capital. For the next four and a half months, comma, Shackleton, proper noun, let's go ahead and capitalize that and his crew lived on the ice. They had to find land or they would die, period. And then we're gonna go ahead and conclude there. All right, uh, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like. Uh, if you'd like to continue to practice with me, by all means subscribe, I would appreciate it. All right, I look forward to hopefully working with you in the next one. All right.